for the PC fam it's April G showers back at y'all with a reaction I know I know I know but hear me out hear me out As is his ass. As y'all saw in the title, see here, has dropped another, whatever you want to call it, called Soup of the Day, January 20th. I'm still confused on why he keeps saying the 20th. Because today's the 21st. Yesterday was the 20th, but. If you look at the date it was uploaded, it says 19th, so I don't know. Maybe we're in hella different time zones. Anyway, whatever, that's irrelevant. Uh, so, now I heard this one was a little bit better, but it's still not good. So, I got to see what he's saying. I will absolutely admit that I love the term Stanuary. I don't know if he came up with it or who came up with that term. But I love that. Stanuary. That's, that's amazing. Amazing. So, uh, from here on out, if, as long as I'm still here, have my channel, if I'm here in January, from here on out, we're going to have Stanuary, where every day I'm going to do at least one Eminem reaction. So, thank you whoever invented that word, and give, uh, and which inspired me with that idea. So, Now, for those of you who are like, why are you giving this trash man views? Da -da 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 -da. Okay, let me explain. I'm giving him one view, y'all. One view. I don't mind giving him one view. Okay? And by me reacting to it, and by other reactors reacted to it, just like other reactors reacted to other trash shit that y'all really don't want to give views to, y'all can watch my reaction or other reactors' reactions and give us the views instead of him. See how that works? Because I know even though you may not want to give him a view, if there were no reactions up at all, if you're like me, you would end up giving him a view because you would forever wonder what he said in the song. So, that's my reasoning. And not it's not because... I want views because like I said it's either my reaction or other reactors reactions it don't matter to me whatever floats your boat but I'm just saying if y'all would rather give a certain reactor one of your favorite reactors or whatever a view than him you have that opportunity you know what I'm saying which is why a lot of us reactors react to stuff that we may not necessarily want to react to or we know it's going to be trash or whatever you know so I will provide the link in the description box uh, as I always do with everything if y'all do want to go click on the link and like dislike comment not comment not share and not subscribe. <laughs> no, just play it. Y'all do what y'all want to do. If you like him, you like him. I respect that. If you don't, you don't. I respect that. So, I want to see what he's coming with. 
I did hear this one is slightly better than the other one. I don't know if I've already said that. So, I am low-key excited to see what edits a music video instead of that whack-ass cover art that he had with the scissors. Which, by the way, he has changed on his Instagram. He cropped, first he cropped it where all you can see is his nose up. And I guess he figured that looked ridiculous, which it did. Now the cover art is the same face, like exactly the same kind of face with a uh, crime scene, yellow crime scene tape wrapped around his mouth and shit. This is warning or whatever. Um, and it does look better than the scissors, I must say, and that nasty ass tongue he's got. But anyway, uh, and it fits, you know, putting warning yellow crime scene tape around your mouth because that shit that comes out your mouth, people need a warning before they hear it. <laughs> Uh, disclaimer. <laughs> oh, okay. So, oh, also in the description box, y'all, I now have a Patreon that I'm so excited about. I don't have any um, invites yet or any patrons yet, but I have a Patreon nonetheless. I spent a whole lot of time fixing it up and everything for the people who want to join and help me to uh, be able to provide for my son. So, and if you're unable to, that is completely and totally cool. Like, it's not a requirement, just like donations are not a requirement, nothing like that at all. But just because you click on the link, that don't mean that you have to become a patron you can click on the link all it does is take you to my patreon and you can just look around or whatever you know what I'm saying so maybe you want to just do that you know um, my merch is available the link to that is in the description box as well alright y'all April two. Boy, this book, love y'all. It is just one minute and 47 seconds, so that's good. Alright, let's get it. You don't want to rock with me? You don't want to smoke with me? You don't. January 20th, Brick City. When Trump leave, your bitch ass gotta go. Mars Jersey, as is. And the jokes up, you get coked up. You just snorted a mountain, they bought a tote truck. Don't get your hopes up, my flow be coke cut. You get choked up, dry ass bread and some coke cuts. Oh. Is you a yes man? No, sir. Hey. Kaiser Sosa, dry myself, don't need no chauffeur. Hey. Royce, you a gopher. Pussy cat like Doja. Oh, I ain't heard not a nothing this motherfucker said. That beat is hard. I've heard this beat before, though. I've heard this beat before. I've reacted to, to it. What the fuck is it? When that bass drops, too. Oh, my lord. Holy mother. Hold on, hold on, let me hear it again. I ain't paying attention to what he's saying. I'll pay attention to that in a minute. Because in the words of my boys, Lemon Marcus from Script Work, if y'all ain't subscribed to them, go subscribe. To me, in my opinion, they are the best bar catchers on YouTube. Period. That's just my opinion. No Life Shack was my inspiration, and Script Work was my motivation for starting my channel. So. But anyway, but I'm not just saying they're the best bar catchers on YouTube because of that. Because I, I just keep it, you know, real. If they, if I didn't think they were, I wouldn't say that. 
But anyway, I'm going to listen to this beat, a little bit of it, one more time to see if I can jog my memory as to where it's from. Because it's from some fucking where. And then I'll rewind it and pay attention to the lyrics. Okay? Okay. You don't want to rock with me? You don't want to smoke with me? You don't. It's January 20th, Brick City. When Trump leave, your bitch ass gotta go. Mars Jersey, as is. And the jokes up, you get coked up. You just snorted a mountain, they bought a tow truck. Don't get your hopes up, my flow be coke cut. You get choked up, dry ass bread and some coke cuts. Is you a yes man? No, sir. Kaiser Sosa, dry myself, don't need no chauffeur. Royce, you a gopher. Pussy cat like Doja. You ain't mob, nigga. You ain't Costa Nostra. Okay. Oh, he just called Royce up. But anyway, this beat is Yikes by Nicki Minaj. That's where I've heard it. This beat, I don't think I finished my sentence while ago when I said in the words of script work. In the words of script work, this beat has bars. And see, I was going to give him bonus points and extra uh, credit for, for the beat. For having such a hard ass beat. But it ain't even his beat. While he's talking about people biting off of people. He's using somebody else's beat. I guess he got enough comments about that whack ass beat he used yesterday. That he changed it up. He should have posted this one first. I do know that one. I do know that much because if he would have posted this one first with that beat to get out, know what he said other than calling Royce a pussy or something like that. If he would have posted this one first, people would be more likely to listen to the second one because of, of the beat alone. I mean, I'm just keeping it a hundred. You know, these days, especially the youngins. You know, the younger generations uh, like and pay attention more to the beat than they do to the lyrics. Whereas me and my generation uh, listen to more the lyrics than the beat. Don't get me wrong or get it twisted, though. I love songs. Uh, every song does not have to be super lyrical, bar heavy, or whatever for me to like it, for me to rock with it, for it to be a song that I think is one of the best songs of all time, whatever, whatever. Which is a list of like hundreds of songs, but like for instance, uh, 50 Cent in the Club. That song don't really have it. Don't have bars. It's not really bar heavy. Heavy. Uh, it's it's just you know, we go party like it's your birthday, and you know we don't give a fuck because that's your birthday. You find me in the club, bottle full of bub. Mommy, I got that ex. If you in the making love, I'm in the having sex. No. If you into taking drugs, I'm into having sex, I ain't into making love, so come give me a hug if you into getting rough. The song Freaky Things by Ludacris. I'm kind of hoping that maybe we, uh, I hadn't heard it so long. I'm kind of hoping that maybe we can, get, we can kick it in the something house. Something ripping the buttons off your blouse. Something I'm ripping the buttons off your blouse. See, that's gonna bother me. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. I talk a lot in my reactions. That's just who I am as a person. Don't like it. Deuces. Hold up. Of course, it's gonna take forever. Fuck it, I'll look it up. 
on YouTube. It's just my, my second grade. Luda! I miss Ludacris. Featured Twist and Jagged Edge. That's my shit. Bruh. It's my shit. Bruh. Hold up. I got that CD. I got that album. Show you. Word of mouth. Light showers. Hold on. I'm so sorry. I wish Ludacris would drop the thing. Okay, here comes Ruben. Ruben is about to go kill the mouse. Smell the aroma of the big green king through the crisp when I mean yo. How's hot fellatio with men and women and women and men went down? South. Hot jalapenos, hot wagon yo. Mouse. So we love that. Yeah, boy. Maybe they won't copyright this since I played that. I played it really low. But anyway, like that song. It ain't it ain't got a lot of bars or nothing. It's just a good song. So y'all get my point. Uh but I still am a lyrics girl. You know. If it's not if it's not a bar heavy like lyrical type song, I still listen to the lyrics. Cause if it's trash or just repeating the exact same thing over and over and over again, like Gucci Mane, Gucci Mane, Gucci Mane, Gucci Mane, Gucci Mane, Gucci Mane, or whatever the fuck he said, Gucci Gang, not Gucci Mane. <laughs> Gucci Mane's a rap. Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang, Gucci, like that's trash. Trash. All right, shutting up. Let's go. Let's listen to what he's got to say now. We know the beat has bars, and it ain't his beat. It's Nicki Minaj's with the song Yikes. From the song Yikes. You don't want to rock with me? You don't want no smoke with me? You don't. It's January 20th. Brick City. When Trump leaves. Yo bitch ass gotta go, Mars Jersey, as is And the joke's up, you get coked up You just snorted a mountain, they bought a tow truck Alright, he's already talking about the same old shit everybody talks about Whether they tried to diss, Eminem, drugs, something You get uh, coked up Something about the mountain get a tow truck. First of all, Coke was not Eminem's drug of choice, my guy. Pills was, just like pills were my drug of choice. And I went to rehab uh, on August 7th, 2011. But my clean date is August 8th, 2011. Because obviously... I took some pills on my way to rehab. I mean, duh. I knew I was never going to take them again. So, anyway, and it's because of Eminem's story and music, not just his music, but his story as well. Uh, help, he helped to change and save my life. And for that, I am forever grateful, forever indebted to him, even though I'll probably never see him in my whole life. It's been on my bucket list to see him, him, see him live in concert forever. But I'm 40. I mean, what are the odds of it happening? Not very high. So, so he starts out talking about coked up, which here we go again with the cap. No smoke with me, you don't. It's January 20th, Brick City. When Trump leave, your bitch ass gotta go. Mars Jersey, as is. And the joke's up, you get coked up. You just snorted a mountain, they bought a tow truck. Don't get 
get your hopes up. My flow be coke cut. You get choked up. Dry ass bread and some coke cuts. I see that so whack bar to me. He says something as is ain't a joke. My flow is cold cut. Something you get choked on this bread. Something that's a, that's like a cold cut. Like talk about cold cut sandwiches. Hold on. You just snorted a mountain. They bought a tow truck. Don't get your hopes up. My flow be cold cut. You get choked up. Dry ass bread and some cold cuts. You get choked up. Dry ass bread. That's some cold cuts. To me, that's not a good bar. That's just my opinion. Is you a yes man? No, sir. Kaiser Sosa, dry myself. Don't need no chauffeur. I like that. I like that. I like that line. Is, are you a yes man? No, sir. He basically said, I could drive myself around without a chauffeur. Okay. Probably because you can't afford one, but that's cool. I like that line. <laughs> I love Cloudy. Yes, man. No, sir. Kaiser Sosa, dry myself. Don't need no chauffeur. Royce, you a gopher. Pussy cat like Doja. You ain't mob, nigga. You ain't Costa or Nostra. Royce, you a pussy cat like Doja. Something, something. What else do you say? You ain't something, not even Costa Nostra. Pussy cat like Doja. Self don't need no chauffeur. Royce, you a gopher. And called him a gopher. Pussy cat like Doja. You ain't mob, nigga. You ain't Costa Nostra. You ain't mob. You ain't Costa Nostra. Okay. You's a jokester. Get and play like poker. You's a jokester. Get and play like poker. It would have made better sense in that particular bar. Because he had cards out on the table if he said. I forgot where I was going with that, yeah. I just zoned out. I can't help it. Yesterday, I was literally, at, I dropped that as is, as is, this track respect uh as is eminem diss track reaction yesterday morning morning uh and then after that i had to go to the doctor and they had to sit me to the hospital and then i had to wait in the parking lot of the day on pharmacy for what seemed like forever to get a medicine so I was gone literally all day yesterday uh, so yeah all of you who are waiting on reactions as far as dono requests and stuff I know most most or a couple because it's not a lot of them but I know a couple have been waiting a while and a couple just recently asked me within the last like week so but I promise y'all I got my list right here you see I got don't know so I promise y'all I'll get to it when I can all right so he called Royce a pussy cat like Doja that's uh, re referring to Doja Cat. He's still in Nicki Minaj's beat and then shouting out Doja Cat, which I mean, that's cool. I think that her name, I, I don't think I've ever heard anything by her, but I know who she is. She's pretty. You ain't Costa or Nostra. You a jokester. Get and play like poker. Oh, he said you a jokester. Get and play like poker. What would have made better sense with that particular bar is if he would have said, you a joker. 
get and play lots of poker. Because, you know, in a deck of cards, whether you use them in the game you're playing or not, they have jokers. You know what I'm saying? So, that would have made more sense to jokester, but... Nigga, you ain't coaster or no stuff. You's a jokester. Get and play like poker. Anything you do gon' backfire like a boat gun. Killing rappers out. Anything you do gon' backfire like a broke gun. And then he said, anything I do. Anything you do gon' backfire like a broke gun. Killing rappers I've known since 01. Killing rappers I've known since 01. Then why haven't I ever heard of you, my guy? I know he he was a member of Outsiders and the whole story behind that and Eminem and stuff. Like I know all that. I've been knowing that for a long, long time. But you was a jokester, get and play like poker. Anything you do gon' backfire like a boat gun. Killing rappers I've known since. Like, but you know, if he's killing rappers since he's known since I was one, what rappers has he killed? And I need to know, please, y'all, in the comments. Let me know if y'all know of any or hear of any or whatever uh, people this person has reacted to or whatever. Backfire like a boat gun, killing rappers I've known since old. Of him killing rappers, I lost my train of thought again. I'm sorry, y'all, I can't help it. I honestly cannot help it. It's part of my disease. I cannot help it. It's embarrassing, too, because it makes me feel like I'm like 95 years old and I got dementia or Alzheimer's or something. Prayers to anyone suffering with dementia or Alzheimer's and their prayers to their loved ones and prayers to those who have lost loved ones to dementia and or, or there is no and or, it's either Alzheimer's or it's dementia there's, and there's different types of dementia. I was a nurse for 20 years, so, but, yeah. Brunoster, he was a jokester. Y'all gotta tell me in the comments what rappers has he killed since 01. Anything you do gon' backfire like a broke gun. gun. Killing rappers I've known since 01. 01. This is no fun, I'm Wolverine, call me Low Gun. You got okay. no gun, aiming shit at no one. I'm okay. ass naked in your bed, waiting till your hoe come. Uh -oh. She gon' suck on his dick. Choke, come, and swallow my balls, send the flick to your mom. Yeah. I just heard him say, M. He done told Royce he was going to fuck his bitch, his wife, because Royce is married. He's been with Mary like eight, nine years, somewhere in that, somewhere like that, somewhere in there. So he said, you know, I'm going to fuck your bitch, your wife. Or, and, you know, put this D in her mouth or whatever. And then send the flicks or flick, flick or flicks to your mom of dude and Royce's girl or wife. I'm pretty sure they're married unless they've gotten divorced recently and I didn't know it. But that's just pure gross, and I'm not backing it up to hear that nasty shit again. Jumping in front of bullets for no one, you keep doing. I have to, cause he said "em," and I missed that part. Flick to your mom, M ain't jumping in front of bullets for no one. You keep doing that shit for M. Do that shit for your son. Spend some. See, I was just about to say, you know, I bet Royce does not reply to this dumb shit. I was just about to say that. 
a while ago when he made the little jab uh see what I'm saying y'all I lose my train of thought I'm so sorry but he made just a little jab uh at Eminem but did uh a while ago you know I was gonna say I bet Royce doesn't reply since all dudes did was make a little jab and say what's been said in diss tracks ever since I can remember. Well, not all diss tracks, but a lot of them. Is I'll fuck your bitch or I fuck your wife or something. I mean, my favorite diss track of all time, Hit Em Up by Tupac. He starts the damn song out with, That's why I fucked your bitch, you fat motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? But Tupac, I don't, <laughs> Tupac wasn't capping it. He's just talking shit and capping it. So, you know, I was thinking Royce definitely ain't responding to that whack shit because everybody says that. But now, 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 he done brought up Royce's kid. So Royce may just respond. That shit for you jumping in front of bullets for no. And then he said, M ain't jumping bullets in front of. Uh, uh, M ain't jumping in front of bullets for no one. That's cap. That's cap to the cap to the cap cap cap. Like that big ass one that you got on your face with coincidentally a lion on it. Your cap is a bar. Lion, L I O N animal, lying, L Y I N G, which is what cap means a lie or lies capping means you lying so he's he's got a line on his cap <laughs> the cap has bars oh lord my holy mother speaking of holy mother the link to my holy mother merch is in the description box uh, as well, everything's priced cheaply. I promise I have the most comfortable hoodies, period. There's several different kinds of hoodies you can choose from. But I think the one that I got is a premium hoodie. It's pretty It's pretty cheap um, if y'all want to check that out. But anyway, that was Cap about him wouldn't jump in front of, bull or in front of bullets for no one. He's been jumping in front of bullets, bullets for all kinds of people ever since forever. I mean, he's had two different presidents, Secret Service, investigate him and watch him and all that. Bush and Trump. He did the Cypher on BET and dissed Trump, the President of the United States of America. And Trump was the President then. And he got up there on the BET Awards and dissed Trump in front of everybody. Why? For the culture and stand it up for what he believes in which I've always respected about him he don't give a shit he'll tell you exactly uh, my legs itching I'm sorry he'll tell you exactly what he believes in or what he don't and stuff then you know we have D12 when Eminem got the call uh, for, for Dr. Dre and went out to California or whatever and got signed and all that. He could have been like, fuck y'all, bizarre, 
Swifty, Proof RP, Caniva, and uh, Con Artist. He could have said, Peace out, Beatrice, and not took none of them with him. But he's took them all with he took them all with him, and they you know were D twelve. He didn't have to do that at all, but he did. And all five of the members of D twelve, other than Eminem, are African American. And Eminem has done a ton of shit for hip hop, and a ton of shit for the culture, and. To say he has it is just either complete and total ignorance or you just hate to hate just because you're jealous and you're not as good as he is or as popular or famous or rich or the go or whatever. There's plenty of reasons for these punk asses to be jealous of Eminem. And, the, you know, I know, and most of us know the whole reason that they're saying his name, like Biz, you know, as is, and whoever else. Uh, Mickey Mouse, Dumb Dumb, uh, Dave, all them mugs. Uh, they're hating on him and him and saying his name to try to become relevant again. I mean, that's apparent. Apparent. Ball, send the flick to your mom. And me jumping in front of bullets for no one. You keep doing Oh, and fun fact. Eminem was the first white person to ever appear on BET. For those of you who may be in different countries or whatever and don't have BET or never heard of BET, it's a channel on TV, and it stands for Black Entertainment Television. So, yeah. Flick the yo mom, M ain't jumping in front of bullets for no one. You keep doing that shit for M, do that shit for your son. Spend some time with the kid, get to know him. Yeah, that's what I said earlier. I thought, you know, he's not going to respond to this because Ollie's Royce is not going to respond because... All he said was the same shit everybody says, I'm gonna fuck your girl, whatever, whatever. But now, ladies and gentlemen, now, as is his ass, has done, brought Royce's child, Royce's son, into it. And you don't do that. And what's, but what's funny about that is he's, he copied that from Royce. Because on Twitter, Royce and Bazzino, Bazzino was arguing back and forth. And uh, Royce told Bazzino he better get his daughter or something because she's pussy popping on a handstand or something. And that Bazzino... Stan Zito, Bun Zito, uh, better get his daughter or tell his daughter he loves her or something like that before Drake or Trey Songz does. Because, <laughs> you know, they be doing them R&B love type songs. <laughs> but that he now, you know, he bit, he bit up as is. Supposedly his big grievance, his big complaint is Eminem biting his style, biting off of him. But so far he's bit off of Nicki Minaj, the beat. And now he's biting off of Royce's tweet and taking Royce's own tweet, flipping it back on him and using it against him. Which is, I will say good as far as a diss track, you know, but it's like a good thing to do. Take somebody's words and then flip it around to make them look bad with it, you know. But as far as bringing up his child, that's not cool. It's just not cool. 
Do that shit for your son. Spend some time with the kid. Get to know him. For them trumpets blow. That's a gold gem. Flows golden. Wiser than them old men. Plus darker than the old men. Feel the gold. What did he say? For them trumpets blow. That's a gold gem. To know him for them trumpets blow that's a gold gem flows okay. golden wiser than them old men plus darker than the old men Ooh, feel the cold wiser than them old men the uh three wise men that's from the bible if that's what he was meaning know him for them trumpets blow that's a gold gem flows golden wiser than them old men plus darker than the old men Ooh. Feel the cold wind. I could kill my own friend like Aaron did Odin. Disappear like snow. I could kill my own friend like Aaron did Odin. He's referring to Aaron Hernandez, who was convicted of murdering Old Lloyd. I believe was his last name. R.I.P. Um, who were both football players. Um, Aaron Hernandez ended up going to prison and he ended up committing suicide. RIP. Uh, but they did have a documentary about it on Netflix. The Aaron Hernandez story or something along those lines. I don't know if it's still on there, but it was on there because I binge watched the entire thing in one night when it first came out on there. Because I love stuff like that. I binge watch true crime, serial killer documentaries, all that shit. All the time. Oh. When I'm not doing this, or spending time with my child. When I could kill my own friend like Aaron did Odin. Disappear like Snowden. Cops where you been snowed in. Bitch. You still ain't. Disappear like Snowden. Y'all get that? Something about the cops or like where you been? I've been snowed in. Y'all get that? The word play with snowed in, snowed in. Then cops where you been snowed in. Bitch. You still ain't paid, motherfucking DJ Butterface beat. You still ain't released D12 from they fucking publishing. Use a hoe. Use a hoe. I don't even know what that's about. You ain't paid. Sound like it's a DJ button for some some beat, and then you ain't release D12 from their publishing or something like that. I don't know what that's even talking about. If y'all know what that's talking about, please let me know down in the comments I will say and admit that this one is a thousand times better than that trash he put out yesterday called what I can't say or some shit it was trash to the trash 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 terrible uh, so compared to that I'm just gonna compare his two songs that I've heard thus far. Uh, lost my train of thought. Again, I can't help it, y'all. It makes me so mad, and it's so freaking embarrassing, bro. It's so embarrassing. But anyway, this one to me is a thousand times better than the trash you put out. Uh, yesterday, uh, the title of the songs, both, the titles of both the songs, I don't like, uh, the beat in the last one was trash, trash, but he used somebody else's beat in this one, so I can't give him credit for that, uh, he didn't really have any meaningful bars in it, he had a couple bars in it, but not like professional type bars, more like elementary type bars, cold cuts, you know, uh, I guess the best bar out of this whole 
uh, so, or out of this, I guess the best bar out of this whole song would have been, would be, uh, you get coked up, you just snore, coke cut, you get this man, no sofa, pussy cat like Doja, you ain't mob nigga, you ain't coaster or no stra, you was a jokester, getting killing rappers I've known, you got no gun, aiming shit, gon' suck on his dick, no. ain't jumping in front of bullets for no one, you keep doing that shit for M, do that shit for your son, spend gold gem, flows golden, wiser than them old men, plus darker than the old men, Ooh. Feel the cold when I could kill my own friend like Aaron did old and disappear. So I don't know what my favorite bar is, honestly. I don't. I really don't. Um, I know Royce might, just might respond since as is his ass said that about his son. I mean, if somebody brought my son up like that. In a diss track, a regular track, just a video in general, I would, I would definitely respond and lyrically kill the motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? So, but that's that's just me. You don't, you don't fuck with my kid ever. But anyway, the link is in the description box if y'all do want to go watch it for whatever reason. Um. If y'all don't think I'm correct about the beat, you are free to Google it. I'm gonna Google it. Uh, I'll Google it afterwards. I won't take no more y'all's time. But I'm pretty sure it's Yikes by Nicki Minaj. Um, again, I think this was a million times better. I think he should have started with this song. Other than that whack ass shit. Because if he would have started with this song. It would have left people. Wanting more from you. You know what I'm saying. But since you. First impressions are lasting impressions. And that was the first thing. That I've heard. From you. That I know of. Um, and it was trash. So. And that's just my personal opinion. You ain't got to like it or agree. So. But yeah, y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think. Please like this video on your way out. Like one point you think. And please subscribe to my channel, y'all. Echo G. Squad. This fuck. Love y'all. See y'all just a little bit. Peace out.